This program was brought to you by Kola Institute of Venture at Tel Aviv University. Yeah, the topic of uh, finance has been uh, definitely my creation, understanding the role, first of all, that has to be uh, played by uh, limited partners, the f- uh, financial institutions that uh, Jeremy Kohler already mentioned in the uh, short uh, movie we had. Uh, that's very important, uh, the combination between technology and financing and has been this so known uh, as the equity gap. So uh, there are the usual solutions that we have in the form of equity, angel investing and others. And traditionally we have seen alternatives that are coming primarily from the government uh, and lately uh, through corporations, through the accelerators originally in Israel, as, as you probably know, uh, the incubators funded by the government were quite uh, involved and active, whether they were very successful, that's another matter, uh, but at least uh, generated jobs uh, for scientists, uh, especially for the immigration. Uh, in the last uh, 10 years, I would say the trend in the world is away from incubators to accelerators. But uh, that's not really our focus here. The focus is to look at alternative, innovative uh, vehicles that we can help get, uh, bridging the gap in uh, early stage funding. Uh, one phenomenon that you're all familiar with is uh, crowdfunding, uh, by which we basically bypass the intermediary and go straight. Well, it has been very successful, but it came with lots of other governance and other issues that has to be explored. Then there are alternative methods, and that's uh, I just saw in a couple of them. One is the venture lending. Uh, on, the, on, the, on the surface, it doesn't make any sense to have, uh, why would you want to give a loan to a business where you barely want to invest equity in? You know, it's, it's, it's the chances to go uh, south uh, is very, very high. And uh, nevertheless, it's a quite interesting model if, if done right. And uh, there are other alternatives. In fact, even to the deep innovation areas. Uh, Attempts now at MIT uh, by uh, academics and practitioners to set up funds in the vicinity of the billions, and I I, I really mean it, to solve in a major way, in a sweeping way, the problem of uh, funding uh, projects that are 10, 15, 20 years uh, long. Uh, through financial innovation. So again, the imagination should take us also in, into this direction, uh, not only to have all the energy into pure science. We need, again, as Jeremy said so well, the combination of the two. And that's going to be the next uh, theme uh, after the university venture. Um, I will uh, try to lead this area, and again, uh, I'm b- giving my background in finance, uh, and my business practice. I do know some of these uh, instruments. I would like to take also to hijack the opportunity to uh, say something about venture in Japan in honor of of our guest speaker here. Uh, We finished the the history issue that was number two. One of the items there is quite relevant for the event today. Now, I, I had an idea, I wasn't sure, that venture outside the US and to some extent Europe, not a lot, uh, was actually uh, first applied in Japan. Definitely before any other place in in, uh, Asia. Uh, Probably everyone knows that, probably not known to you. Uh, Japan for us, for most of us, is really associated with the large industrial consumption goods, whether this is automotive, basically, you know, swallowing uh, and taking over from the U.S. some 20 or 30, 40 years ago. Uh, We saw that in uh, cameras, Uh, we saw that in uh, television and uh, entertainment, Sony, uh, uh, Nintendo, and so on. This is well known. The banks are also, to some extent, quite well known. Uh, What is less known is the the very early attempts and uh, the first attempt, and that's actually what's going to feature in my forthcoming book on, on, on the history of venture, uh, very prominently, was 1963, where the public funds created what they tried to emulate is the U.S. Uh, investment uh, 
you know, you, your small business administration type of activities help to small businesses. Uh, but unlike the U.S., it was done by the corporations uh, and the banks. And uh, this, the first one was uh, Nippon Enterprise Development that was formed as a consortium of 39 companies. And a year later, Nomura introduced uh, a company venture firm that became extremely well known. Uh, and I remember for years I was teaching this case study in the U.S. called JAFCO. And, um, and that's in the early 80s. Uh, funny enough, the banks who formed it had only one mission, which is not what we have now in venture, simply to generate clients for the bank. That was the idea. And, uh, but, you know, sometimes, you know, the, the, the road to paradise go in very crooked ways. Uh, but that was very helpful. And uh, in 82, they introduced the first American limit, uh, first Asian, sorry, limited partnership format. And two years later, they applied JAFCO also to the US. So uh, opened their branch in San Francisco. That's over 30 years ago. And uh, the credit goes there to Japan on that. So uh, with all of this, back to you. This program was brought to you by Kola Institute of Venture at Tel Aviv University.